Good morning. How are we, alright? I do apologise, I'm only on the phone today. I forgot my camera. <laughs> um, never mind. Hello, peeps. Hope you've had a good week. Um, sorry there's no camping video again this week. I haven't been away. <laughs> well, not to do a video anyway. Um, hopefully I might get to do one this weekend, but I may not be able to do that either. So, <laughs> it's not because of the weather. Because I go all year. I just haven't had chance at the moment. Um, there's Ellie. You see her down there? Oh, come, come see Ellie. <laughs> In that case, yeah. It was Ellie's birthday yesterday. Bless her. She's four. <laughs> hey, you're four. Hey, four. You are. Yeah. <laughs> Bless her. Sorry for the quality is not very good. Like I say, I'm only on the phone, so um, I'll have to make do today. I'm afraid. Um, so, just a, uh, just a personal vlog today, I'm afraid. Um, this is a bit like um, West Country. <laughs> so, if you're new to this channel and you like daily vlogs, then um, go over to West Country, because um, I put up to a week on there. I don't do very many vlogs on here, because... Um, they don't tend to go down very well. I've got moaned at for vlogging on here. <laughs> so, um, this is just the odd one, alright? <laughs> so, never mind. Like I say, sorry if the quality is not very good either. But, um, it's just a one off. Um, I want to start getting into using my G7 again. Um, because that's a damn good camera. And I bought it last year to do better videos, and I've only used it in the studio, as it were. I've not used it out and about much, or once, I think. <laughs> so, um, I better get use it, and I use it or lose it, as they say. Um, the funny thing is, it's like uh, because I, because I'm from an older generation that tends to look after things. It's like, um, oh, I don't want to use it because I might break it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, well, if I take it out and use it, I'll break it and then I can't use it. Which is a bit stupid, really, isn't it? It should be a case of we'll use the damn thing or lose it, you know? I've still got the G5, which I don't use either, which is stupid. Um, nowhere near as good as the G7, but uh, I could still use it. Maybe I could do my vlogs on the G5. Then I wouldn't break the G7 and it's still better than using the phone. <laughs> you know what it's like. You know what it's like. <laughs> now I kept the G5. Um, normally I'll sell one camera and then upgrade to the other one, you see. Um, I mean, none of the cameras are new. They're all second hand. I don't, I don't think I've ever bought a new camera. Oh, I did, actually I did donkeys years ago. Um... I bought a Dynax 7 years ago, years and years and years ago, and uh, <coughs> in those days it was like 15, 1600 pounds, that's the most expensive, that's more than I've ever paid for a car, you know, so um, that was a lot of money in those days, but I used to do a lot more photography, but, um, anyway, you know why, so uh, yes, moving on from that one. Yeah, so that's long out of date now. I think you can still get them, actually. I think you can still get the Dynamax 7. No, it wasn't. No, it was the 9, wasn't it? Was it the 9, 9D? 7, 7D, I think I had. Um, not Dynax. No, Minolta. Minolta. Yeah, Minolta. Because um, they got bought out by Sony, didn't they? Minolta. So, um, all the Sony cameras you've got today are, um, Minolta's, basically, because, uh, Sony bought out, bought out Minolta's camera division, and, uh, the damn good Sony cameras we've got today are thanks to Minolta. 
which um, which were ahead of their time, I think, because they did create they did create beautiful cameras. They were really nice and lovely to use. But uh, I've never had a Sony since, so um, I don't know what they're like. So there's me calling it Dynax, Dippy Ass, that's Panasonic. <laughs> Yeah, so, hope you've had a good week. Um, what was I going to have? A, I was going to have a chat about it. Oh, yes, I was looking at um, this AI technology this morning. <sighs> All I can say is, right, I'm glad I don't work in an office. Because um, any of these repetitive office jobs, um, I think within the next ten years are going to be gone. <laughs> Because who's going to need them? Um, customer services, that's all going as well. Sorry guys, it's a bit dark, you can't see. Um, customer service. And we've already lost that in our local supermarket. Um, it's all these stupid machines. I always try and use a human being. <laughs> if I can. Um, I always try to go to a counter where there's a human. I can't stand these bloody machines. I think it's just putting people out of jobs. I don't I don't like it at all. I think it's awful. I mean, I used to work in a garage years ago. Um, you know, behind the um, petrol selling side of it. Um, my friend's parents used to own a garage. And um, I, uh, I used to work behind the counter. You know, in um, in the petrol kiosk, <laughs> and I was quite a friendly chap. We used to say hello to people and stuff like that. But even the few years, a couple of years that I was there, how things changed and how people would just sort of throw the money at you. You know, you know, you say, "Oh, here's your ten pounds. Ten pounds, please. Pump number four. Do you know what I mean? And ten pounds, please. And they just throw you the money, and and it's like, what's happening to people? And that was years ago. So I hate to think what it's like now. Um, but I always make a point of saying, um, I always make a point of saying hello and thank you very much and stuff like that. Oh, I think that's important. You know, just let, just say thanks to the person for making the effort. Do you know what I mean? And I guess it works both ways as well. If you work behind the counter, you thank the person for coming in and all that as well. But, uh, yeah, but this AI... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure on it. To be honest, I um, I think it can be clever, but I think it's a dangerous precedent. <laughs> I really do. And with this 5G that's coming, which is going to connect all smart devices, apparently, that means everything's going to be connected to a hive consciousness of electronics, the internet of. Well, the, the wireless internet of c connection um, with 5G. You know, we, we obviously got our phones connected through 4G, but not through the next 5G revolution we're supposed to be going into. That's supposed to be um, connecting everything. You know, TVs, toasters, anything that's smart that's got a microchip in it and has Wi Fi connectivity supposedly will be connected via. 5G, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't really know how it's going to work, to be honest. But, um, um, I'm glad I've got a very simple camper van. And I'm going to switch my phone off. And I'm going to go camping in my non-connected camper van. <laughs> uh, for how long I'm going to be able to do that, I don't know. Um, yeah... But, sorry, this is a bit of a waffly one this morning. Um, free energy as well. Um, we've got all these Tesla generators, right? Have you seen any of these, guys? You know, Tesla, Tesla's um, generators he's built, or he designed, and people have now built. There's loads of them on YouTube. You, um, you would do a search for Tesla generator. And um, you'll come up with loads. And um, we're going up. We're going on these stupid electric cars. 
I mean, who wants to sit and charge your car for three hours? Can you imagine the queues at the garages? <laughs> well, they won't be called petrol stations anymore, or, or um, they'll be called um, charging points, won't they? Can you imagine the queues at charging points? <laughs> I'll just plug myself in. Are you going to move up to the next pump? No, it's going to wait here for two hours while it charges. I mean, oh, I'm, I'm a delivery driver and I get paid by the hour. And I have to sit and wait two hours just to top up my batteries. It's not going to work, is it? It's just not going to work. It's stupid. Um, they're trying to sell this stupid idea just so that they can be making money with all the lithium to make the batteries. There's a lovely little bird in there. Can you hear that? What's that? Oh. What was that? I've never in my life. That's a blue tit. Hello, mate. I've never heard a blue tit making that noise. Can you hear him? He's in the tree over there. <laughs> I've never heard a blue tip making that noise. Never. It's like a hybrid blue tip or something. Oh, sweet little thing. Never heard a blue tip making that noise. Come on, else. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Um, can you hear him? Bless him. Anyway, what are you telling me, mate? What are you telling me? He's just up there now. There he is. Look. Hello, mate. All right. Oh, little sweetie. <laughs> you worried about your family? I'm not going to try not to go. I'll go out the way, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, bless him. Oh. I think he's a bit worried. He must have had a nest in there. Bless. Anyway, um, yeah, free tester generators. So you have a look at that. So why can't they put an, a free tester generator in every home, in every vehicle? To create free energy. No. Because we still want to be connected. We've still got to plug it in and charge it up. This rubbish. What a load of rubbish. What a load of rubbish. But there we go. Anyway, that's plenty long enough. 30 minutes. I do apologise, guys. I'm sorry it was a very wobbly, um, rubbishy video. Um, it was just a quick one, just to say hello, really. Um, just to put up a vid for you guys to watch this week. Um, have a great weekend. And uh, see you next vid. And happy birthday to Ellie for yesterday.